What's up, crypto kids, blockchain, profit seekers, my friends. How y'all doing today? Today I'm coming at you from, well, freaking craziest market of all time, right? I mean, things have been nuts, man. Well, why are they going to skip the uh, the macroeconomic portion of this and kind of go straight into, into the microeconomics and uh, get into these platforms? But suffice it to say that if... Um, you know, we had a slight bounce back with um, all currencies against the dollar. But from what Pal says, not that they always do what they say. They're, you know, have a long track record of doing one thing and saying one thing and doing the opposite. And very often, if they could just get you to perceive something and get you to act in a certain way, they will have done enough, you know, um, they will have done their job enough that they didn't have to do anything. They proved that at the beginning with like saying that they're going to taper, saying they're going to taper, not tapering, saying that they're going to do all these things, but their balance sheet kept expanding, expanding. Um, <laughs> you know, they all sold out at the top personally in their own personal accounts and uh, then create a law saying that they weren't, you know, a fake rule that they can go around at any point in time, really, and uh, said they're not going to insider trade anymore. But all that is, <laughs> you know, nonsense. But also, they say that, you know, they've, there has been some tapering of the balance sheet. And when they taper their balance sheet, when they dump things on the balance sheet, they claim to have dumped billions of dollars with this balance sheet. The S&P follows, follows exactly with it. So the largest buyer in the market, the which is what they want to be, right? They purposely create this inflation. Don't think it's not purposeful. And their whole point is to buy up as much as they possibly can and have you not have as much purchasing power and buy as little as you can. That's going on now. It's been their plan for a long time. I think you all know that. But again, that's that's the the I could do this all day, but we're going to leave that for the macro part and jump into the microeconomics. So, Horde, Horde has been doing fantastic things. They got a lot of good stuff going on. This has been my favorite stable play. Um, out of all of them, you know, jumped into a whole bunch of stable plays and uh, some of them I don't even talk about um, or don't talk about anymore. U.S. Dex, I mean, obviously the elephant on the elephant stable side didn't do, you know, shit. The uh, U.S. Dex is held at stable side, but every but at a cost to every other token that they have, you know, in their portfolio, including the shares. The shares price of U.S. Dex has done nothing but, you know, tank, tank, tank. And that's probably all it's going to do. $43 here. This is backed up. They have this one-to-one -one in a vault. So as this gets sold, that has those dollars in the vaults come out. But there's nothing supporting the share price. And the share price has just been tanking. Now, what in a perfect world, people take their shares, they put them into the regulation contract, and then they take that and buy what they earn there and buy these, um, ET, you know, this... Dex ETF here, but that has not been what has been happening. People have just been dumping the shares because the regulation, the um, you know, holding on to it and holding on to the regulation token or holding on to the share token while this thing has been going down has uh, really not been working at all. Let's see. Oh, I'm on the wrong account, but yeah, so the price of this just goes down a lot more than what you can earn here, and the daily APR has not been great like under 100 percent so it's you know you're losing way more than you're gaining so people jumped out of here dumped all their shares and um aren't getting into the shares they still have a lot of money into the the you know the farms especially into the one that's backed up but it seems like everyone's dumping the share token and you know if you're holding that i was holding some of that you certainly did get hurt but anyway moving on us dex was not uh, the uh, topic of today's conversation so back at horde they have these nfts they've been delayed a day the zombie nfts that's here this is a new new section here if you pay with your horde tokens you get a you don't have to pay that 10 percent cash out fee right because you have to buy horde and you know if you had bosd and you're looking to buy into the nft you have to buy horde first in order to purchase it from what i understand you might be able to buy it with anything um that was spec you know preliminary i think you could buy anything let's go check it out ZNFT, you come over here to mint and you got BUSD as an option. So yeah, you don't have to pay uh, any type of fee. I don't think so. Okay, let's see. So BUSD, when we click on that, minting price is $400 BUSD. When we switch to Hoard, it's four Hoard. So yeah, no difference in price. I thought there was supposed to be some sort of 10% discount for buying with 
um, horde, but I don't see that anywhere in the actual reality of this. So this got delayed 24 hours. They had a, you know, a bunch of technical issues as you would expect, <laughs> or at least as I would expect. Some people think that everything's going to fly perfectly and go normally, and uh, I always assume that is uh, never going to happen. So here we go. We have gotten 300 Z NFTs minted on the first minutes of the opening pre-sale. If you were able to make a transaction, congrats. You will get your NFT PFP once the issues have been fixed. Unfortunately, as the pre-mint was so hyped and broke the gas limits on the contracts, this crazy launch will have to be delayed. We have had some issues with the VRF and getting the NFTs the random ID. Yeah, pause it. If the, if the, if the random verification isn't working, and that's the whole point of doing the chain link verif you know, no, your launch is broken, stop it. They did the right thing. This is currently looked into in depth until we get it working. This may not be Chainlink's fault. The Z NFT's contracts are very complex and are doing things that have never been done before. This is not a typical NFT mint launch, so please understand that this is not as easy as one, two, three, and needs to be worked out before continuing with the pre-mint and public mint. We will be scheduling our pre-mint and public mint for tomorrow, the same time as today. Is there gonna be additional delays who knows who knows who knows excuse me horde is all about making this fair and right and we will always be thriving to lead the way yeah the horde has just been great man i'm uh you know not worried i do have horde on both accounts waiting to buy into these i'm looking to pick up for them um see what we could get the problem is with these is like they're not they're not all the same like it's dramatically different you know you can get like with one nft you'll get like 40 percent return in a year with the next nft you're gonna get like 40 <laughs> percent every few months so it's like it's the the varying difference of these is pretty great they do auto compound automatically i think a lot of you guys know how these things work but it is a trading bot nft that grows over time you cannot compound into it there's an automatic 20 percent recompound that happens but that doesn't come out of your payments it just comes out of what they earned right or does it come out of your cut now this is awesome. I want to get four of these. I think this is great. The NFTs that you needed to buy in order to get into the pre-mint, you had three choices. And there was a bunch of these. Well, now they've all sold out of the previous of the smallest one. So for a three dollar, you know, for three hundred dollars, you can come in and buy as many of these NFTs as you want. For me personally, I'm not too worried if I don't get them. So I don't have one of these scenes yet um, because you know these scenes are great when your NFT is about to expire and it's about to poop out. You can attach one of these and extend the life of it for 5%, 10%, 15%. And then as it cashes out, you can um, move it over to another NFT and a whole bunch. And, you know, for 7.5 Horde, you get 15%. If you're doing it on doing these on plots, you know, you have paid for this uh, this in, you know, a lot less than seven, uh, <laughs> a lot less than seven, seven plots, right? But you get what I mean. Like, if you had one of each of these as your plots were diminishing you would you know attach this five percenter and then as that went out you could attach this ten percenter get some more squeeze out another five percent by attaching this and as your plots were like falling out right as all these plots were falling off these bigger ones every time one was about to expire like when this rounds down you just attack that nft so i probably will be getting one of those 15 percenters to extend the life of my nfts because why not you know and then when this one goes past the 15%, you detach that NFT, stick it onto your next plot, and, uh, you know, I actually have a lot of days in between mine, 105 to 222, but I think you get the point here that you can attach it on there and extend the life of your, your NFT, so if you have one of each, you can attach like your five here, let that print out, get that five on the next one, and keep extending the life of squeezing as much as you can, eventually those NFTs long pay for themselves so with the nfts there they always had a whole bunch here but now these have sold out because if you have an nft you're allowed into the pre-mint so i'm not worried about the pre-mint too much because i think that the uh, the initial offering of one percent a day up to 300 percent is so damn tasty that if i don't get the um you know, if I don't get the uh, NF, you know, if I don't get any NFTs, I'm just gonna compound this a little more and then buy me another plot with it, and I'm a happy camper. So I don't really need the uh, NFTs; they're not all that important. But I'm gonna try to buy for them because, uh, 
you know, I got the horse sitting there and might as well get into them and have that extra passive income. They're using delta neutral strategies, which usually is a lower outcome, but it uh, seems like they got something figured out. They are certainly holding it close to the chest. Now, let's move over to their... Um, Twitter. I mean, they have just been busy as all heck, right? I mean, everyone's looking to get in these NFTs, buy these NFTs, and uh, they're super stoked about them. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty damn so stoked about them too. Next up, let's go talk about Furio. Furio, you know, love these guys. They're super integrated with Horde. If you watched my last Furio video, I, I said, hey, they're doing this thing where uh, you can guess what their next um, development was going to be. What do you think it is? And it was a trading bot. Just like I said, it was probably going to be or, you know, casually guessed that it would be. But the the, the pools are going to be are crazy. Now, they also have this thing where they're taking a bunch of this fur pool, 20% of it, and putting it into their bot. So that does increase the risk a little bit, but it also increases the payouts. And uh, apparently that's how they're going to be able to continue these um APRs, which this one's crazy. You know, you only guarantee you're only supposed to get up to 50%. 192% is crazy, and that's an all-time high. Here is another amazing thing: is they have this fiat on ramp, but now it's open for U.S. residents on Visa and Mastercard. So, if you want a Visa and Mastercard your way in, I imagine there's some pretty serious, you know, hefty little fee there. I'd imagine close to five percent, but I don't know that for sure. But in the past, when people have had things set up like this, the uh, fee was pretty substantial so i haven't tried it but if you have let me know let me know if you had what kind of fee you had to pay if you did some sort of fiat into furio um yeah sound off down below it'd be uh, really appreciated 189 percent apr here so these guys have a trading bot too and they're gonna have nfts this is coming out in a few more weeks so again if i don't get some of my furio nfts over you know if i didn't get some of the horde nfts whatever is there i'm just going to move that over into furio and so yeah that's what i'm looking to do pretty damn fantastic like, I just love everything they're doing, you know? The money's been steadily paying out. The APRs are super high. They've been able to keep this thing steady. They have different income sources coming. The casino is, the, for me, I think is going to be huge if they can get it done right. I guess we'll see, but I have been freaking killer impressed with the team by far. Okay, let's talk about Avarice real quick. Avarice is launching a um, on Polygon, like this like tomorrow i guess we are officially live on polygon matic there's uh it's showing like a day undefined right now on the polygon side and if you go to avarice you will see is just right here you have a new section where you can go over to mavc so avc bavc and mavc and a lot of the um there's been increased um, interest and in more money coming in over here for interest total deposits we were down to like 8 bnb 7 bnb and then boom popped up 10 13 14 12 12 and now that this matic thing has popped up you might see some more things happening over here but when i click on matic i haven't connected my on that side it says date undefined so ends on 19 whatever so you know <laughs> It's uh hasn't started yet as far as I can tell, but you know, I'll probably be DCAing in there. Now is a great time to be, you know, it can still go farther. Matic can still go down farther. Absolutely. But as far as like DCAing into Matic, throwing it into Avarice, I think this is going to be a good play and uh, I'll be dropping some Matic in here. Our unique mechanics haven't changed. Every day is a new opportunity to enter the lobby. We have decreased the max split. It's now 40 days instead of 60 previously. So a higher percentage of dividends will be distributed. The lobby entries management. There will be a minimum stake duration of 35 days that will decrease over time. I think that's cool, right? There will be a minimum stake duration of 35 days. Everyone's got to come in at 35 days instead of doing like a 7 day dropping in, dropping in. I kind of like that. We've added a layer of income to our community of investors. Every day entries will be invested to generate even more yield. Let's give some hearts to these things. This is awesome. Long-term vision because it in this contract, we have additional income stream. If investors delay their collect time, they'll generate yields as they're going along. I like this a lot. I'll probably be doing a video with a full little uh, overview of... Uh, 
of it. And again, I don't think that with Avarice it matters with you coming in right at the beginning. But uh, man, a lot going on. Okay, really quick on Prometheus DeFi. They have just done, you know, they had... They released a new report. They've got some little upgrades on the site. You know, just easier ways to get around and some boxes to say, hey, click on this if you haven't you know, withdrawn your, withdrawn your stuff. You know, trying to keep everyone on the same page. But um, as far as the price goes, which is really the most important thing on, um, you know, in the middle of the month, because we're in the middle of the month, this is your elephant chart here, getting a nice little jump up. I have been slowly DCAing, DCAing in there, but not a lot, just small amounts. Let's head over to PHI for Prometheus DeFi, sitting at 271. So I'm looking this to, for this to get down to $2.10 again this month, right down here, and I'm gonna be loading in. As soon as it gets down to 210, I'll buy at least two more nodes. The way my position's growing anyhow, and um, looking to get more in both sides of the D, of the dividends pool. I mean, it paid me a thousand dollars last month, five hundred the month before, four hundred the week before that, or the month before that. And so, getting those steady payments has certainly been nice. If I can just keep this up to you know, get this up to a couple grand a month, I'll be pretty happy with Prometheus DeFi. But compared to the bots, right? Compared to the Furio bots, you know, and compared to the Horde bots. Having your money in here trading is actually been quite a bit more is, you know, the percentages are higher. It's, it's a straight 70 and 30. 70% 70 goes to the 70% um, of the dividends of all the money made, right? The, the money made for the month. 70% comes to the investors and is split between all of us. And then 30% is put back into the pile to create more for all of us next month, right? That's a better split than either the Horde bots or the Furio bots. The Furio bots are going to be $200 a piece and they look pretty interesting. I'm going to be getting some of those. I think they're uh, they're coming out in three days or on the 6th is when it's expected. Expect a, another video from me on just Furio kind of going over all that. And this video today, I just wanted to catch you up on all the platforms that we are, you know, currently, you know, I'm in a lot more. Obviously, we're in a whole bunch more platforms, right? It looks like uh, Polar Nodes is doing stuff. Comb Financial is doing stuff with a new uh, Dex they got coming out, which looks pretty damn great. Uh, Drip, of course, they're doing stuff. They're always doing stuff. And we're waiting for those farms. When those farms curves out, everything's going to rip. Right now, we're at $6 something for Drip um, on the actual site. It's just under $7. I am looking to get some more in there. If I could buy some more in uh, about $5 or so, I'm looking to do that. I will be dropping some into power. I'm still in tomb. All those good stuff. But the major plays that I'm looking at are the ones that I'm you know, kind of most interested at the moment uh, it's kind of what we're talking about last but not least we'll talk about ooze real quick ooze ha is doing all sorts of stuff they're not going to do a bot of any kind they're not, they're not interested in that they're like that's what everyone else is doing we're staying away from that they're pr trying to provide more services they got this wallet coming out and then um which is going to be like you know some sort of wallet that everyone's going to use they're get some sort of residential residual feedback from that and that is going to help support the price of ooze through some sort of buys um, but then the other thing they got going on is they're doing like a raffle type system and they're going to what it sounds like is distribute this raffle type system to other people. So kind of like how Drip has the scratchies thing and he's going to take that scratchies protocol and like let other platforms use it and then like kind of rent that out and then use that to help sustain the whole damn thing. That's what Fury, uh, excuse me, Ooze is looking to do with not only their wallet, but this raffle thing. So they'll have raffles themselves where you can get like you can double your money. You can you got a 40 percent chance of of losing 40 percent chance of winning and then a 10 percent chance of doubling or something like this and so 10 percent of whatever you put in right say you put in a dollar 10 percent 10 cents of that goes to the doubling raffle and then the other rest of it is you know split you can either win or lose got a 40 percent chance so all this sounds pretty good ooze is doing stuff but it, you know it's still ponzonomics and the price has been going down like steadily going down but We'll see what happens. I'm just compounding all of my ooze NFTs for now. And uh, that's everything, guys. You're freaking caught up. Still in Protocol X. They did a bunch of stuff where they switched over, but you know, when they got a few hundred dollars in there, and I don't think, uh, I didn't, no one said that they got in Protocol X. We've been listening to me, so I don't know that I need to uh, continue talking about it, but I'll keep touching base on it. Protocol X has been good, and they're doing interesting stuff.
but the uh, price has been going down with about equivalent to the 1.77% uh, a day payment that they have been paying out. So uh, <laughs> wouldn't exactly, um, oh, you, if you are in Protocol X, you need to come over and like do this version two thing and enhance your uh, tokens to get them all up and going. Okay, that is uh, about as long as I wanna make this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Crunch Music is going to catch you guys on the flip. Got a lot more videos coming your way. Probably be busting them out a lot more regularly. Now that i am uh, got all my regular business world, real world business stuff, um, at least tim tamed down enough to be able to breathe. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate you. Sky loves you, man. Stay safe out there. Stop listening to mainstream media. I think at this point, you all know they ain't doing nothing but lying to you. I'm out.